If you are a space game fan, or more specifically a Kerbal Space Program fan, then you probably heard the news surrounding the new Kitten Space Agency project. I mean, I am assuming most of you also watch Shadow Zone. So we have all been trying to recover from the disaster that was KSP2 these last few months, but now a new company has decided to swoop in and make their own KSP-like game. The company is called Rocketworks, and they worked on games like Stationeers. They were also one of the companies that hoped to get the job on making KSP2. Now, you might have been traumatized by the KSP2 game, but there are many reasons to believe that this project will prevail. And the main reason is this. They are making their own framework that is being built from the ground up, making it suitable for a KSP-like space game. They are not using Unity like KSP 1 and 2. Their focus at the moment is having a solid foundation in contrast to what the developers of KSP2 did. This will result in much much better performance and maybe no Kraken. So this makes me a lot more hopeful. I think one needs to focus on a strong foundation before doing anything else, otherwise the whole thing will just fall apart. Another thing that makes me really excited is that Rocketworks is gathering forces among the KSP modding community. They enlisted the help of Blackrack from EVE, Scatterer and Volumetric Clouds. And so this is what they are currently working on. Another thing, Harvester, the original creator of KSP, is also involved. And if you go into the KSA Discord, link down below, you will encounter some names like Linux Guru Gamer, Ballistic Fox and Nertea, or Nerti, I don't know, and others. Though these people have not been given the role of developer like Blackrack and Harvester. But this stuff you might already know. I bet you want to know what kind of game this is going to be. And well, that's kind of up to us. They have a suggestion forum in their Discord, so do not hesitate to bring your own ideas over there. So a few things that I want to shine some light on are this. 1. We want the features that make people excited for KSP2, colonies and maybe even other star systems. I know that we should not expect this for what is probably going to be a few years, but still. 2. Currently they are modeling real life planets, but I would rather have fictional star systems that are scaled down. Someone in the discord suggested a scale slider, which is basically a difficulty slider. I like that idea. 3. Meaningful progression is something that I have seen being said. I think we should try to move away from the one dimensional approach that is the tech tree. Have the characters in the game take on bigger roles and have achievements that are more meaningful and such. 4. As the whole kitten thing is not yet set in stone, I want to tell the developers that I don't mind the kittens, because some people don't like them I guess, but I would love something like flightless birds like kiwis to be the main character of the game. What is funnier than jealous birds that cannot fly create their own space empire? And by the way, this idea was not mine, so if you happen to watch this video and you were in the Discord and proposed this idea, claim this idea down below. 5. Modability should be considered as one of the most important things. It is what makes many games amazing, but I trust that this will be done because they are already working on that. So there's a lot that still needs to happen, but we have something to look forward to. They said that they are going to launch some early access uh, version of the game sometime next year, which will be free, uh, not the full release of the game of course, but we will be able to give our input hopefully soon. Speaking of input, if anyone working at Rocketworks is watching this, black rack, uh, hit me up. I am studying astronomy, specializing in exoplanets, and I would love to help in any way possible. So that's it for now, and I will see you around.